Hi, my name's Liam and I work with schools across the UK in supporting them get the most out of MathWiz. Over the next few minutes I'm going to introduce to you MathWiz teacher reports and some of the benefits that may apply to your school. As a teacher, you're going to be first drawn to clicking on class report and selecting your appropriate class. For this example, we're going to look at Year 3 Miss Berties. So as we can see, we have all our students on the number line representing their average maths age, which for a teacher, this is of great benefit, because after they've completed their initial assessment, you can see those students that are potentially underachieving, and those students that are obvious high flyers and really need to be challenged in their maths. As we can see down to the bottom left, we have two students who are yet to complete their assessment. It's key to get students completing their assessment as soon as possible so that they can begin their journey with MathsWiz and ultimately strive to success in maths. As we know, students who use MathsWiz for 60 minutes per week will accelerate their maths age by 1.6 years over a one-year period. So as a teacher, we are uniquely placed to support those students getting the result over the long term. By clicking on the Usage tab, we can gain a very quick overview of the students and their usage of MathWiz. By manipulating the report period to either the full history, current academic year, last seven days, or more recently choose a date, we can look at different time periods to see how students have been using their MathWiz. Now this may be of particular use to you when using MathWiz as a homework. We suggest that some schools set MathWiz as a homework and then by simply coming on, perhaps checking in the last seven days, or choosing the date to which they set their homework, there's no marking. They can simply log on, see that they've done their maths quiz, and know that the tutor is delivering lessons unique to their specific ability in maths. So as a teacher, what can we do to support our students who are either progressing with maths quiz as, a, as we would expect, or for those students that need a bit more support to getting back on track with their MathWiz. Well, first of all, let's talk about celebrating success and the tools that we provide to you to do that. First of all, by hovering over the student, we can send them a message. In this case, from the Wiz professor. By this simple action of sending a student a message and attaching an interactive sticker, we know this has a profound impact on students and their usage of MathWiz, which, if we're having an impact on their usage, we're going to have an impact on their overall ability in maths. As a suggestion, some of our schools like to use the interactive stickers as house points. You may want to do the same. How about celebrating student success with an assembly or at the end of a term at a celebration ceremony? By selecting the certificate, we can award a certificate to any student within the MathSwiz class. By changing the sticker, or inputting their achievement, we can celebrate a student's success and progress in MathSwiz. OK, so we've celebrated a student's success by awarding them either an interactive sticker or a certificate, but how can we support those students that need the support most? getting back on track with MathsWiz and getting back on track with their maths. Well, first of all, let's click on the Student tab. In here, we can identify those students that are either with a green tick, making the progress that we'd expect to see because they're using it for the recommended amount of time, or those students with a red exclamation mark who haven't been using MathsWiz for the appropriate time and, as a result, are not making progress in their MathsWiz. Here, we've delivered some tool tips, for instance, a weekly planner which allows you to schedule with the student times which are going to be more appropriate for them to use MathWiz, ensuring that they have a strong routine with MathWiz which as a result will have a huge positive impact on the progress that they make with MathWiz. Finally, let's look at a student report. By finding our student on the MathSage number line and clicking on them, we can view their report. Within this student report, we're going to gain a breakdown of this student's specific progress, usage and maths ability. 
Feedback from schools suggests that this information is most useful when communicating maths ability and progress with parents. By clicking on the progression tab, we can break down a student's unique ability in all the different topic areas of the maths curriculum according to this student's maths age. As we well know, the red line indicates where this student was first assessed and the blue line is showing the progression that this student is making with the one-to-one -one tutor. Parents and teachers alike love this. Feedback from our schools tells us that they love printing this off for parents because it communicates them in a way that they understand the strengths and weaknesses of their child's ability in maths and in communicating such information in a way that parents are able to understand, they feel that they are more able to support their students in their journey to raising standards in their maths ability. By clicking on the History tab, we can break down the specific history of this student's participation in MathWiz, showing us which topic they've completed, the exercise relating to that topic, when they completed it and the time it took them to complete that lesson. But more importantly, the amount of times they're asking for help and the results that they have achieved within that lesson. This may be of benefit to you in understanding where students' specific challenges lie within each topic and how many times asking for help from the one-to-one -one tutor. But don't worry, as we know, the one-to-one -one tutor will instinctively pick up on these challenges and support them in progressing in their maths. And finally, within this history tab, we can see a full history of the messages that have been sent to the students. So if you are adopting a new child from a new class or you've been away from your classroom for a certain length of time and you want to catch up on the progress that they've made, you can see the communications that have been made between the teacher and the student. Our ultimate goal as a teacher is to support students' progression in MathWiz and as we know this comes through consistent usage over the year period. So it's important that knowing that students after about six weeks are going to go through shall we say a six-week blues, it's important that we get MathWiz firmly into the routine of a student so that over the whole year period we can really reach their full potential in maths and prepare them for success later on in life. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. To find out some more tricks and tips about MathWiz, why not visit us at www.wiz.com.